What up? It's Laura Carr with Just Vegan In, where in each episode we try to look at a different aspect of the vegan lifestyle. And you know, we are in Glasgow, so we are going to check out that foodie scene. Let's see what it has to offer. What? Okay, so I'm at Flying Duck, which I have been dying to try because it is a lot of good vegan junk food and I am being a total pig and I am getting the Philly cheesesteak because you can't take the Philly out of the girl. And I am getting, there is a vegan Big Mac and then I got, of course, mac and cheese. And though I'm more of a white wino, I went for the Joker IPA because it is made here in Glasgow. Oh my God, I cannot wait to eat everything. Oh, the excitement is real. This was one of the best junk food vegan experiences I've had in my life. Oh my God, like that tasted exactly like a Big Mac. This Philly cheesesteak, and that cheese and that cheesesteak is insane. And I love what they use, like how they season the steak here. Mm. Oh my God, one of the best Philly cheesesteaks I've had. And that mac and cheese, oh my God, so creamy, so. I will be coming back up from London for this. I will give away my firstborn child for this. I will sell my girlfriend for this. <laughs> Just kidding. You know when you feel like you're doing something really naughty, I'm like, well, I guess I am. I'm kind of having like an orgasm under the table, but it's like the food did it to me. It's not my fault. Wow. Come up to Glasgow, come to the Flying Duck because it is well worth it. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm here at Mono, which I think if you're a vegan is definitely like a staple place that you have to come and visit. And of course, being in Scotland, I thought I should indulge in one of their traditional dishes. Cause you know, they like to fry anything. <laughs> Mars bars, and this is Pizza Crunch. Vegan eyes. Yes, maybe not the healthiest, but probably one of like the best things I've tasted. Like, this is amazing. I've been to Mono a few times, and of course they have like loads of different things. I've had like a mac and cheese here. Uh, they have some stuff with jackfruit. They have different pizzas and stuff. Oh my God, that is orgasmically good. <laughs> you must try it. It's so soft to bite into. Obviously a little bit of crunchy on the outside, but like once you get in, you could really taste like the cheese and the sauce. Oh, wow. I mean, that's heaven, really. So it's quite exciting because we have Mono just right over there. And what? We have 13th Note just right behind us. So it's quite exciting because I feel like we're in a bit of a vegan hub. Oh, yeah. All right, so I am at 13th Note. What I love about this place, oh my God, the vegan wines. All of their wines are vegan. Ah, love it. And what else I like, uh, they have really, really a great selection of pizzas. They have a lot of really good curries. And they even have a haggis and caramelized onion pizza. Oh yeah, very Scottish. Gotta do it, you know what I mean? When in Rome, do as the Romans. When in Scotland, do as the Scots. Eat that haggis. And they have an amazing, really, really good uh, vegan breakfast. I'm not even sure what's all in there. It's like that is way bigger than a traditional English breakfast. And it has more amazing things, I would say, than an American breakfast. I'm going to call it a Scottish breakfast. Looks like we have French toast, um, hash browns. I don't know, maybe like a tofu scramble, some tomatoes, mushrooms. I don't know. I'm like so excited. I can't wait to dig in. All right, so all I have to say is that is one of the foolish you pay breakfasts I have ever had. I mean, the flavors were just like booming. And oh my gosh, I'm going to have to take this home because it is clearly super, super filling, but honestly, insanely delicious. Gotta love the 13th note. 
So I hope you enjoyed checking out some of Glasgow's awesome vegan restaurants. And believe me, there are loads more. I was only able to cover three. But really, Glasgow is becoming quite a vegan hub. I think it is one of like the most vegan friendliest cities in Europe. So please come and check it out and make sure you like, share, and subscribe to Just Vegan In.